Southside United Time Kids, it's great to see you. Oh, it's still cold, isn't it? <gasps> but hopefully next week, be lots of sun for fun on Sundays. Looking forward to that. But today, we meet on land that God created. And God's Spirit has always dwelt here. He enabled the Aaron and the Turubal people to care for this land. So we pay our respects to elders past and present. <gasps> Hope they know God's love. We know God's love. Let's say our prayer together. Ready? <laughs> Everyone? Up. From the top of my head to the tips of my toes. From the lobes of my ears to the end of my nose, from my back to my front to my weekly fingers, God loves me! Yay! We better head to the story chair. Mm. I like the armrests, but it isn't the story chair. Let's go. This is Stephanie's house. It's not the story chair. Let's go. Well, finally made it. Oh, I keep getting lost, don't I? Dear me. Well, let's call for. Rover. Mm, how are we going to do it today? Like a cat. That was a bit sound like a cat. Didn't it? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Grover. What on earth was that, Richard? Well, oh, sorry, Grover. We were being cows. Oh, okay, that's very strange. Yep. I'm strange sometimes. You can say that again. I'm strange sometimes. You can say that again. N no, Grover. <coughs> Well, how's it going? Oh, oh good. And, and, and that's a pretty cool story, this story. That is a cool story about Philip helping the Ethiopian official to understand about Jesus. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 then, and then he gets baptised. Yeah, we're going to be talking on Sunday about baptism. Oh, ba but, yeah, that sounds cool, but, but, but what, what's baptism? Oh, baptism. Have you seen baptism at church, Grover? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's where they, they get the little baby and they, they pour some water on. They do. They pour some water on his head. Do you know why they do that? Yeah, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. So, this is going to help us to understand why we do baptism. And it's not always a baby. Oh, no, no, no. no. Remember a couple of years ago there were some adults and they got dunked underwater. Push. That's right, we did. And one clunk, he said, which, don't mention what happened with Jack. <clears throat> yeah, they got underwater. And that was part of the rituals of the Jewish people, was this idea of baptism and washing and cleansing. Oh, oh yeah, because otherwise you'd be stinky. You've got to, got to wash sometimes. Yeah, yeah, but not necessarily washing just to not be stinky, but washing to make yourself new. And so when... Jesus was around, there was a man named John the Baptist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he was out in the wilderness, that's right. And he was baptising people, and lots of people came to see him. And he was giving them a baptism to repentance. He was saying, come and have this baptism, <coughs> and renew yourself and get ready with God. And it was something new, because this was a sort of a once-off baptism. We want you to get right with God this once, and head back in the right direction. And so... Jesus and the early church picked this up to have a baptism, a one-time thing. Oh, so, so you only have to get clean once. That's right. Oh, stinky people. No, no, no. You have baths and showers and things other times. But this baptism is a once. And <coughs> for Christians, it's about showing us how God makes us new and God accepts us. Ah, oh. so he accepts babies. He accepts even babies. There's a wonderful part in the baptism, what we call liturgy, the bits that are said during the baptism that talks about little child, even for you, Jesus came and died. Even for you, though you don't understand it. That even as a child, God is accepting us into his family and into his church and hoping that we will grow up and follow through on that faith. So, so baptism is about what, isn't about what we do. No. Baptism isn't about us saying, I'm doing this. I'm making a change. But baptism is about us saying, God is doing something. Doing something in the life of my little baby or doing something in the life of me. And I want to recognise and acknowledge God doing something in me. Oh, wow. And God's doing something in me? God's doing something in you. God's doing something in every one of the people who are watching this. Even that? Even, even them.
God's doing something in everyone. And so maybe you've been baptised and you might want to talk to your parents about that. Maybe you haven't been baptised. For some people, that's left for older when they choose that this is the important time when I want to recognise what God is doing in me. But baptism isn't about us and us doing something. But baptism is about God doing something. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is cool. God does lots of things and God changes us and helps us to follow him. He does. And it's so wonderful. He wants us to be part of his family. It is wonderful. So we're going to talk about baptism on Sunday. We might see you then. School holidays, so no um, Sunday school. But come along anyway and find out a bit more about baptism. Oh, we found out lots today. We did find out lots today. Hope we might see some of you at Fun in the Sundays next week. If you haven't got your regos in, make sure you get it in today so you can be part of it. Otherwise, we'll see you around. Bye, everyone. Bye!